What's up YouTube? Tim here. Um, just wanted to post another leather video. Um, and this one is about drawing directly on your piece of leather. Now, this is something that has taken me um, a couple of years to think about even. Um, just because leather is so very expensive, it's hard to um, kind of commit to freehanding something on um, a sheath or a bag or um, a wall piece, whatever it is that um, could end up selling, you know, for a few a few dollars to replenish your leather um, inventory. And um, it's just, for me anyways, has been um, a tough thing to wrap my head around. But um, watching, as I mentioned in my other videos, people like... Um, Don Gonzalez and uh, Bruce Cheney. Is it Bruce? Yeah. I always think of Dick Cheney, who was the vice president in the Bush uh, W. Um, George W. administration. Anyhow, um, I decided to go ahead and see how difficult it was, um, or it is, and um, um, this is what I did so far. Um, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, I know it's this is pencil marking, so it's not probably showing up in the camera too well. Um, so I'm trying to get, um, uh, let's see, uh, there. Um, as you can see, I got a pretty good start. This is going to be a pancake sheath. Um, and uh, one thing I will say about drawing on leather is that I've had, I've tried, I've attempted it in the past, and one thing that I notice is that um, it's hard, you don't want to bear down too hard because then you're going to actually make a mark on your leather work, which is something that you do not want to do um, because when you go to stain and um, uh, and finish it, it's that th those imperfections that you've, if it's, uh, it's going to show up, particularly if you wet it. So um, one thing, um, that I notice is that when I try to make marks, it's like, hey, why doesn't that look as good as when the people on YouTube do it? But if you erase, and I don't know if they use something else to take um, some like top seal off, whatever, but if you erase and then um, you go back in, it's much darker. Um, maybe you could like the next time I think I'm going to go through with um, like a, a block eraser and go over everything real lightly um, to make sure that, uh, you know, it's even. Like right now, there's spots that are that are, have been erased and spots that haven't. And I th it's kind of picking that up in the camera there. Um, you can see where it's um, glossy and where it's not. Um, now, I don't know if there's like a some type of solvent that you can put over your leather um, that, uh, you know, helps... Um, uh, take off whatever protective cover that's over there when the leather's shipped or processed um, so uh, as to make your pencil markings more um, easily shown um, but so far this is trial and error for me I've noticed that using the eraser helps um, so um, that is um, this is my first um, you know um, attempt at doing this, real attempt at doing this without using um, a hand-drawn um, piece before that's transferred with vellum. So um, stand by and I'll show you what uh, the outcome is. If I can scooch over here quickly, hang on, I'm going to pause for a second, I'm going to show you something. Uh, this um, same style pancake one that I did, um, that I tooled recently. All right, so I'm back. Um, this is one that I that I just finished, um, and uh, there it is. This one I actually did use um, something that was drawn previously, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Although I was a little lazy and I didn't um, do any backgrounding um, and uh, um, contrast leather dyeing. So if I had taken my time. All these spaces where you see it textured, I tried to just um, 
substitute it for a textured background um, would be um, knockdown, which would pop the tooling up, and um, this would probably be dyed like a dark brown or black, and then it would make the um, tooling really pop. Um, this was a freehand drawing um, that I transferred with vellum after, um, and I did a um, basket weave on the back. And as you can see, the sides look pretty good, um, but in the middle where I did the um, uh, wet molding, it pushed everything out, um, which I guess is, you know, to be expected. So I'm pretty happy with that. But this is um, a design I came up with, and it's for, um, the UV, you'll notice there's no welt um, because it's for um, a butterfly knife or um, a balisong. Um, oh, there's my finger. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, here is that uh, first pass at the drawing. Let's get to focus again. No, yeah, there we go. And uh, once I have that um, the way I like it, I'll go ahead and case it and um, do some knife work on there and then I'll um, do another video. Anyways, this has been Tim. Embrace your creativity.